Australia has become such a nanny state um, that there's more signage about what not to do um, than how to get the most out of life in Australia. Lockout laws uh, restrict opening hours and intend to in restrict al alcohol sales um, and are damaging our culture and our freedom to choose what we want and how we want to live our life, not to mention the impact on small business. What are you going to do to stem what's quickly becoming an insult to the vast majority of Australians who are intelligent, progressive and responsible members of our country before it ends in civil unrest and a fight for our independence? Steve Chobo, call to arms. Uh, well, look, uh, lockout laws, I mean, I've made some comments about that in the last 24 hours. I mean, I, I do think uh, the lockout laws go too far. I mean, I know it's not specifically about lockout laws. I've written op-eds in the past uh, about how I think... Uh, that I think we that need question to have was a... specifically about lockout laws as well. Well, I mean, I, I do think that Australia has gone too far down the path of trying to regulate so many aspects of people's lives. I, I genuinely do. And I think that it was, uh, it's high time that we had a good hard look at opportunities to deregulate some of these areas. Um, because, you know, I, if you take, for example, lockout laws, and I know here in New South Wales it's currently in place, and uh, the Premier Mike Beds said, well, assaults are down 44%. But, you know, well, how does that sit with the way in which patronage is down? Um, I heard someone quip, well, there were zero assaults in the Simpson Desert too. Um, you know, so I personally think, look, we're adults. We, we live in a free society. If people do the wrong thing, and, and you want to do everything you can to try to prevent that, including education around, for example, cowards, punches, and all those things, but ultimately you can't stop someone from making a stupid choice. So the Queensland Premier has uh, bought into this now. Yeah. Um, Premier Panachet is looking to bring in lockout laws in Queensland and uh, citing concerns in places like the Gold Coast uh, where you're the MP. Yeah. Um, it's, it's quite risky for her to do this because Queensland, uh, I think Queenslanders do like their kind of live free or die sort of qualities. So uh, <laughs> do, do you think that's actually going to be a problem? You're comparing Queensland and New Hampshire. Well, uh, to some degree, um, yes. Look, I, I, it, I, it is a problem in the Gold Coast. I mean, the Gold Coast is, a, is, for lack of a better term, considered a party town. We get 11 to 12 million tourists there, and a lot of them come because they think it's a great place to go and have a holiday. Um, they don't want to be in a situation where they're told, well, you know, you, you can't buy a bottle of wine after 10pm, for example, as, as, a, as is the case, as I understand it here in New South Wales.